dostaneme uh, i pár informací, uh, kdo můžete nebo máte chuť, tak u dveří tam byl welcome drink, je to kanadská whisky, je výborná, tak klidně si ještě bude příležitost si uh, ochutnat. Důležitá informace, uh, začneme přednáškou nebo s tím, tím workshopem od pana Godena, a to bude trvat nějakou hodinku čtvrt, něco takového. A pak máme ještě pro vás připravený kratučký koncert a výborný kytarista Tomáš Holí. A během té první části klidně můžete se zapojovat, dávat otázky, cokoliv vás napadne, pan Gone bude odpovídat. Kdyby bylo zapotřebí nějak překládat, tak já tady budu k dispozici, houpněte na mě a nějak to vyřešíme. Takže to je asi na úvod. Ještě jednou díky, že jste dorazili. A pan Goden už je připraven. Ještě chci říct vlastně, že s firmou Goden spolupracujeme už díl než 10 let. Dneska jsme vlastně výhradním dovozcem všech jejich značek, takže pokud vás cokoliv zajímá, tak se na nás určitě obrátte. Dneska firma Godin je největší výrobce akustických nástrojů, akustických kytar a elektrických kytar v Severní Americe, takže Kanada plus Spojené státy a dělají zhruba 250 tisíc nástrojů ročně a pořád rostou, pořád se jim daří, takže zhruba 20% na vyššou kapacitu každý rok. A my jsme strašně rádi, že s nimi můžeme spolupracovat. OK, uh, please join me and welcome Mr. Robert Gooden from Canada. You walk in the store, the wall is full of guitars, and today it's more and more difficult to choose a guitar. Because a low-priced guitar is as beautiful as the most expensive. When I was young, I don't want to tell you story of grandfather, but you know, a cheap guitar was ugly. An expensive one was nice, but today they're all nice. <laughs> Then you're there, you know, it's more difficult for you to choose. And also, the guitar playing changed a lot. And this is my mission to touch you exactly with the instrument you need. Uh, just to help me. Just lift your hand. Who play acoustic? Just pull your hand. Okay. Electric? Wow. Then we're going to do both. <laughs> <laughs> Then uh, to help, I'm going to start by acoustic. Tell you things that you probably never heard. For the last 15 years, I teach also. I give my company to my two sons, Simon and Patrick, and uh, which is a brand of guitar of us. Then I teach at Berkeley Music School, Berkeley in Boston. Yeah, I think it's the biggest school of music in the world. Also classical and modern music and recording and on and on. And I do also in Spain, in Valencia. I do that just because I conduct the research department. Then I can see the new generation of guitar player. 
there is a new generation. They have different needs. And it helped me to, we have a, a good team of research to bring the guitar simple, very effective, and this is my goal. And I do guitar clinic like tonight. I do almost every day. Tomorrow I'm in Vienna, and I'm going to meet other guitar player, and uh, it's a lot of fun. Then, I'm going to start with that. Let me get an acoustic guitar. I'll get this one. Then, for everyone, an acoustic guitar. Hmm. How it works. Really, I will explain you the basic idea of how it functions. If you don't understand something, I just lift your hand, I will answer to your question. And also, uh, we have somebody here to translate for you if you need it. You understand my English? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, because I'm French. <laughs> <laughs> then it's good that you understand. I will speak very slow. Try that. We get there. Okay. My objective of tonight is that you leave this night and say, wow, I learned something. And it's going to help you to choose instrument. Ask the right question. Okay, blah, blah, blah. You have to watch me because I speak a lot. <coughs> Too much. Something. Then here, the most part, the most important part of your guitar, it's the table, the top here. And, and the top, the example I give, it's like a speaker, a real speaker. When I hit the string, the top moves like a speaker. Then I need a very specific wood here to be sensitive. What I want, I want the top to be like a studio monitor. A studio monitor means with a very low volume, you will hear the full sound. A cheap speaker, you will have to crank the volume to get a sound. But this, what I want when I barely touch the string, well, I'm going to have to tune. When I touch very gently, I hear the bass, the mid, the high. That means I need a very sensitive piece of wood here. And the wood has to be very light, but very strong. Contrary, you know, it's if I put a hard piece of wood here, I will have no bass. The sound will be thin just high but I need the three voice very distinctly at any level of playing the wood we use for the table the only wood there's a couple of time but it's spruce what is spruce uh, smirk smirk, smirk. smirk. Yeah. okay <laughs> okay and for everyone Smirk. <laughs> smirk is cheap. You know, when you say, this is massive smirk. <laughs> so what? You know, but the guy in the store who work on the store, him, he knows that it's the good wood. But you, you're a player. You don't know those things. You don't have to. Then, but smirk, it's not the regular one. 
we need a tree like one minimum 1.2 diameter. Mm -hmm. This is huge. The majority, this is to make perfect top. The majority of this wood grow in Canada. I live in the right country for that. <laughs> yeah, there's giant spruce. And the other wood, which is known, cedar. Cedar, it's, I like both. They're different sounding, but they're both good. Then this, this is the right thing. But if I say just smart, you're going to say, whew, construction wood. You know, you think that. But when I say it's a tree of 1.2 meter minimum, you know, I say, whoa, just a minute. You know, it, and it's serious. I cut a tree many years ago, two meter diameter. We caught the line. It was over 2,000 years old. Then, are you interested a little bit on that? Because I'm going to draw you uh, exactly what it is. Okay. Then if I make a big tree, ooh, it looks special. <laughs> <laughs> then here, the line, the line of the tree, on the tree, each line is one year. Then because I'm a little bit in a hurry, I'm not going to do 500 lines. <laughs> Just a few. But this is the way you count the age of a tree. Why I want a big tree versus a smaller tree? It's for the grain. The grain, it's the line. Now I'm going to draw a guitar top. This one looks better. <laughs> Then the grain, I want my grain to be straight. Means all the lines straight like that. And to have all the lines straight, I need a big tree. Because if the tree is smaller, it's going to start straight, it's going to go like this and almost flat. Then look, the example is if I take a, a credit card maybe? No, oh my room key. <laughs> then this way, this is the grain, okay? Now it's straight. It's like this, perfectly straight. Then it's, if I do a lot, it's very stiff. Flat grain, it's soft. Straight, very stiff. If it's crooked a little bit, then it's going to torque. It's not as good. Then we need perfectly <coughs> straight all through. Okay? And um, we see in the guitar here. You see, there are all these lines. And the grain is placed like that. All right. And the top of the guitar is always two piece. Two piece means we take a piece of wood, we open like a book. The term in English is called book match. Mm -hmm. Book match. Then I have the same amount of line on this side than this side. The guitar is divided into the bass side the treble sign. Then that's why there's no one piece top. The line is straight in the middle. Hey, every string instrument, the top is two piece. Even a violin, a cello, is two piece. 
Okay? Mm -hmm. yes. mm. Then, inside of the top, we're going to put some bracing, some bar of wood to reinforce the structure because a set of string pull 80 kilo, an example, 80 kilo like this, then for a 10 piece, you need structure to help. But the structure has to be very light. Then it's mark, mm -hmm. <laughs> smack. Okay. Yeah. Then we use smack wood for the bars. And the bar are for the structure, but also it's like a graphic equalizer to control my eye. You see, if the top do big movement, big movement, ego base. Fast and short movement, high notes. Then I want some good bass here, some good ring in my high notes. Then it's an equalizer inside. It's quite something. Could take, it's a lot of research to equalize. You know, there is a legion that the most incredible guitar was last four hours. <laughs> it was not braced properly. Then you follow all these things. Then, you must heard too that more you play a guitar with massive smirk, better it will sound. You heard that? Mm -hmm. It's not the time. A lot of people say, oh, I'm looking for an old guitar, you know, because it's going to sound better. It's not true. If the guitar is not played, no improvement. It's only playing who bring a better sound. I will explain you why. I don't want to tell you something without telling you. And I never met someone who know. You know, it's it's really something. Then let's. It's all about the grain again. Then if I. Remember the top move like a speaker? Then here, if we look at the smirk, inside you see you have the grain, the line, and between each line you have little bubble. It's little bubble, like styrofoam, foam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, coffee cup, you know? And it's very light. That's why the wood doesn't weigh anything. You have a grain bubble, a grain bubble. Then, more you play, more the bubble here loose. Mm -hmm. Then, after a certain time, your guitar do two movements. It's going to move like the speaker, but it's going to start to move the other direction because the bubble will lose. Mm -hmm. But the guitar will improve with your playing means if you play more in G pattern because you sing in G or your band play more. We always play more in certain pattern than the other. Mm -hmm. Then if you play G a lot, your guitar will improve in G. In F, zero. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, it's quite something. Because F, the guitar doesn't hear it. Then no improvement. The improvement is with your playing. Then that's why it's good to have a guitar for a, to have a good guitar that you're going to keep for a certain time. Because the guitar, the acoustic guitar will go with your playing then it's quite interesting. Mm -hmm. You know, it's all physics and acoustic guitar. And now, it's good too, if you don't play your acoustic, to take a guitar stand and put it in the front of the speaker when you don't play. Then the guitar is going to hear other vibration than yours. 
that could improve in F and B and C. It's just let the guitar have other music than yours. <laughs> <laughs> this is a trick. Now, very nice guitar, we built a room that we break the guitar with tone generator. Like the guitar is, it's very loud and the string vibrate by itself. It aged the guitar. We do that. Not at all the guitar, <laughs> but on the more expensive to get the guitar better. So far, so good? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Now you're going to say, yeah, but every guitar does that. Today we see very cheap guitar with massive top. Means nothing. Because it's the finish. How are we going to cover the wood? <coughs> this is the difference. Today we see a cheap guitar covered with plastic, polyester, very thick. Then to get a sound, they reduce the thickness of the top and put the polyester in two hours, the top is thin. It's dry, it's over. Hours to build an, a seagull or Simon and Patrick, it takes six weeks. We don't work six weeks on it, but we glue apart, we wait 24 hours. Just to do the finish, it's almost one week. Then you spray a very thin line, you wait 24 hours, you sand. Spray another one, you do four times. Then, but it's to have less finish as I can, but you need finish. No finish, the guitar will destroy. It will crack and everything. You need finish, but a very thin finish. Then you're gonna say, hey, I'm not a scientist. I don't know finish. Then I have a trick for you, if you want to test. Like this one, this is the finish is a nitrocelluloid. Okay, who knows that? It's a very thin finish. Then what it does, you can find if it's really thin lacquer with your finger, pushing like this. Not like this, mm -hmm. pushing. And when you push, you're going to feel each line. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, oh, okay, it's nitro. A polyester one is like a glass, you won't feel. Just push with your finger. The tip, like this. No, not like this. <laughs> okay. Don't do that with your dog. <laughs> but you go and you feel each little line. Then this is the trick. Then the finish will let the guitar vibrate. And it will separate. If you have a massive top covered with polyester, it will never age. The separation won't happen. Then the sun will stay the same. You know, like this one is so sensitive. Still sound. You know, <laughs> if I do here, do you hear in the back? <laughs> yeah, okay. You see, then now, to make a good guitar is, you have to be extremely precise. We don't make handmade guitar. It's all, we have the most sophisticated equipment. To make a good guitar, you have to be so precise that everything is cut with numeric machine, uh, you know, to be extremely precise about the thickness and everything. Then the other part of your, your guitar, 
words is very important. When I said, here my top five read very well, the neck. The neck, him, he vibrate this way. Same way as the, the top here. Then, to make the ultimate sound of the guitar, is we have to synchronize the neck with the table, with the body. We have to organize that they move together. If they move not together, it will sound mediocre. You see, I was very embarrassed 45 years ago making 100 guitars and 20 were good. Oh, 30 were very medium. Some were terrible and I say it's the same wood, same thing. Is there's a very big important factor is the neck here, there's an angle like this to match. For a metal string, the angle has to be just in the back, an air, one degree back. This will control the pressure here. The saddle, the white piece here, is the microphone of the string. Then the pressure here on the saddle transmit to the table the vibration. Then if I go back, I'm pressing more. If I'm going to here, I'm losing here. Then I'm losing volume. But a steel string guitar, the angle, it's an airbag. A classical guitar, contraire. Very different animal. A classical guitar, I should say now in string, you have to a front angle. Because the string are not as stiff. The top doesn't want to move. Because instead of 80 kilo, it could be 60 kilo, 55 kilo tension. Then we have to play together with this. For this, each guitar has to be measured, the top with the neck give you the example is each top it's got a curve like this natural i'm talking air this one it's going to have two air up then if then we have a machine the guitar is like this the sensors here analyze the curve of that guitar and say oh to the two more but I want one back then I'm going to say two to get to zero I'm going to say minus two and if I want my degree back it's going to be minus three then what I'm going to do set the machine minus three and it will fix here the angle of the neck and this will maximize the vibration I don't know if you follow me. Like when we tune like this, now we hear equal. If I go, see? I'm very close. Then when I'm tuning the neck here, it's gonna do, boom, I'm right on. Mm -hmm. Then, it's a way to explain. You follow? Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you interested? Yes. Yes. Because I can switch <laughs> subject, you know. But now you know there's angle. The classical guitar, the nylon string, is we pull this, the neck. The neck, I mean, the string pull the top. Then a very expensive nylon string guitar, like for Segovia, an example, lasts not more than five years. After five years, still gonna play, but you're gonna lose your attack in the B string 
and the G. That's the hardest to get the sound. For him, he wants this attack. But because we pull the top, after four or five years, it's going to start to lift. Mm -hmm. You pass through. It's good for a beginner. That's why the big concertists, they have always a nice guitar in construction. Still string guitar, because of the back angle, you're okay. It could last 50 years mm -hmm. if you maintain right. Okay? <coughs> May I have a question? Yes. If you were talking about the saddle, Saddle? Yeah. What, yeah. Uh, what is your opinion in contrary, you know, the uh, synthetic materials, contrary okay. the bone, yeah. as well as the saddle and the nut? Okay. Is there a big difference in your opinion? Yes. I, me, personally, we use, I mean, me, the company use synthetic bone called Graftec Tusk, mm -hmm. the real name, because I'm sure of the density. Bone before was the ultimate, but they use all kind of bone. The density change, it's not precise. This one I can buy, oh, it's like steel. I can say I want this rigidity beginning with perfect. Mm -hmm. And those are made in Canada, the company called Graftec. It's TUS, T-U-S. See, tusk. I have a bad material when I do, let's say, here. See here, we hear everything and it lasts. If I have a softer material, it will do boom and die. You want the ring and sustain if you want. Good enough? Uh -huh. yeah. Excuse me, yes, sir. I have another question. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a very old uh, German uh, jazz guitar. Okay. And they have a zero fret, fret from metal. Yeah, yeah, a Hoyer. No, Arthur Lang. Ah, okay. Yeah. Then this, it's good. I have nothing against, except. At that time, the fret quality was not as good, and with time, it goes through. The string will cut a little thing, and it makes a buzz. You know, that's why today we don't see as much. But it was a good way. The hardest, when you cut the nut here, is to have it perfect. Then when you bar for your F chord, this is so hard. When you cut a nut with a file, you can do many. Mm -hmm. You get tired. It's, if you just do a little shot too much, it's going to hit the first fret. Mm -hmm. Then we design a, a machine who cut very precisely the height that I play here. It's like playing here. Mm -hmm. Then. It's very important. But the zero fret, we see sometimes. Good. Uh, now, you're going to say, hey, Mr. Godin, why you made this funny headstock? <laughs> Pointy. You know, normally, the guitar is rectangular here. Do that for tuning. And today, we use a lot of alternative tuning. Before we were playing acoustic three per spread, sometimes six, seven, but it was there. Today we play the guitar everywhere on the neck and we tune differently. And this is a very sensitive part. If I lose my big string to D, the headstock will twist a little bit. For this, you take a, a rule in metal, you put it here, and you do that. Ooh, you're going to say, hey, it twists. You can't see that. But here, I implement a narrow headstock, like the G and the D 
usually are here. Larger you are here, more you twist. It's physics. Closer you hear. I didn't invent that. The cello, they're straight pull. Violin are straight pull. But the guitar, one guy decided to make this big headstock. <laughs> but we have to understand they were playing acoustic differently. Today, the seagull, what is very nice, it's so stable. You see, like, if I do now a D tune, it's perfect. A regular guitar, you're going to touch the B a little bit, maybe the G, but not here. I'm going back. It's right on. Then it's stability. Another thing I did is we cut the piece of wood and turn it, reverse the grain to help. Like a cello, like a double bass. Then you put that here, the neck is much stiffer. You see, a guitar looks like a guitar, but that's why the seagull is a very high-tech acoustic. Four little things. Tuning is so important. Then also here, a big problem where the guitar moves is here. Then when you tune your guitar, the neck moves. You don't see with your eyes. But it's a big thing. Then to help this, uh, I put two pencil here in the heel up to the fingerboard. They're like this in maple. What is maple in? Yabo. 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 Okay. We have a lot of maple in Canada. Yabo. <laughs> okay. Then. We had that with a special glue. Then it reinforced this here. Then your neck is stable. It's stability, balance. It's all these details. And to help, we did something else. We never stop. <laughs> we have a good team of research. The gear, the mechanic, the ratio, okay, the little mm -hmm. gear inside are different. Well, on the big string here, the tree, it's quite standard. The ratio is 1 to 18. 1 to 18. But for the high notes, it's 1 to 26. <clears throat> this is new. I dreamed that for years, but now, you see, a lot of time when you tune, oh, you pass through. It's hard. The B, the G, they drive you crazy. You turn, turn too much. Oh, not enough. Too much. With 126, you can turn, and it's going to come just the way you want. Then you tune twice faster. It's all the plus. It doesn't cost more. You know, making a good guitar, this is a medium price guitar. It's, and I'm not here to show you a $5,000 guitar. The hardest guitar to make is those. Because you have less money, but you have to be very precise. It's all precision. Then the guy, you know, when they say, oh, I have a handmade guitar. I'm afraid of that. <laughs> because they're not the guy doing with his knife and the, he sand, you know, there's no two necks the same. Then this is all the important, the thickness and this to make. Then I'm very proud of this guitar. It's like those machine heads. We work a lot, but they're distinctive. It says on it, and we make the shape like a scooter, Italian, Vespa, mm -hmm. you know. 
with them. I have two, I have two Italian designers with me. They have to put their Vespa somewhere. <laughs> and they're very happy. Then, you see, now you understand the mechanics. The neck move, the table move. Then you have to synchronize them. That's why that one... It vibrate. I'm just gonna do a little test with you. I'm gonna go and see you. Don't be afraid. I'm afraid to go down. Okay. <laughs> then here, touch the table. Yeah. Now touch the neck. You see how it vibrates? then they have to be synchronized. It's still vibrating, but let's be fair. You see, you should sit in the front. Don't sit in the back. I'm going to do everyone. It's going to be a very long clinic tonight. Everyone wants to test. Touch the neck. Touch the body. You see, even my voice, because the finish is very, my voice, put like that, one, two, three, you feel my voice. <laughs> and the neck vibrate too when I speak, wow. One, two, three, one, two, three. Let's say in French, maybe. Un, deux, trois, un, deux, trois. <laughs> in Montreal it's really French okay sorry for you you're too far <laughs> then okay another thing too because now we play all over the neck and everywhere, and we play alternative tuning. The guitar are more difficult. Then I, I work on the scale. I mean, on the position. A little air there, that took me a couple of years. But hear that, if I do. It works everywhere with close and open string and this is fun when you have that and you can do all kind of crazy tuning and it works so far so good yeah. the next one is don't tune an acoustic a good acoustic guitar like this you see I'm not gonna It's gonna play the scale, but you're gonna play a chord, doesn't work. The best way for an acoustic, you tune two strings at the time. And you see, if I... Now I'm off. We hear. It's gonna be the same, but I guarantee you, you tune like this after and you're going to play a chord it's going to be good mm -hmm. why it's because when you do this you hear one note when i play the string open i hear the fundamental e i hear g sharp the fifth you know and yeah, I hear two notes, and if you have a very good guitar, you're going to hear the B also. And you have to harmonize. Then when I do this, I hear all the harmonics. 
then I harmonize. Maybe I'm going too deep, but look, a piano. A cheap piano with a tuner, electronic, you can tune it. But if you have a, a Steinway or a Fazioli or a, you know, Bosendorfer piano, whew, it is a job to tune. Because if you tune with the machine, it won't play chords. <coughs> then you're gonna say, wow, you're gonna play CD, it's gonna work. But the minute you're gonna play a chord, and the higher, ooh, higher you go, you have to be sharper. And it's an art to tune a very good piano, because the very good piano's got a lot of harmonics. That's why the blind can concentrate and hear all the harmony. And it's taken about two hours to tune a piano. <coughs> because it's an art. Then if you buy one day a very good guitar, more expensive, it's going to be harder to tune a little bit. It's normal. Because now your guitar gives you more notes. Okay? A lot of blah, blah. <laughs> I'm dangerous. <laughs> but it's all physics, all understanding. You know? Now we're going to talk electric too. And electric is the same idea. For everybody, an electric guitar, oh, you take a body, you put a neck, two Seymour Duncan, and we're in business. You know? It's not at all. An electric guitar. It is a sophisticated acoustic guitar. It is really acoustic. And what I said, the angle of the neck, you know, it's going to apply. We're going to do the test hmm. right away. Then now you're going to say, OK, the next big thing is the last big shot. I'm going to drop this guitar. I know you want to see other guitars. Then it's the scale of the guitar. What scale is this guitar? What's that mean? The scale is the distance from the nut here to the bridge. There's two very known scale. I'm going to help you, okay? Short scale, Gibson. Everybody knows the Gibson guitar. The Gibson, the majority of their guitar are short scale. 62 centimeter from there to there. Mm -hmm. I like that. Long scale, fender. <laughs> I'm easy for you. Then long scale, it's just a few centimeter more, 65 centimeter in sound and playability. Then the short scale to tune E, it's looser. The long scale for my E, wow, I have, it's harder, but the sound, you see, in the short scale, we're going to hear more, less harmonics, less ring, we're going to hear more the fundamental, like we're going to hear more one note. Mm -hmm. Then, a lot of guys use a, then the sound is more bass mid. And a lot of guys use the last ball because it's easy to bend. And also, in distortion mode, they're going to have this fat sound, you know, because of the mid-bottom of the short scale. The strat player use single coil. Wow, that's another thing. Single coils got a lot more sound. Let's say if the range, I'm talking, just to change the matter, you see like, a less ball, the range is there to there. Base high. The strap is going to be from there, but up here, and more mid. But, wow, it's like tuning a very expensive piano. Mm -hmm. Then strap player, wow. It takes them three, minimum three to four years 
to get used to their problem. There's a lot of problem with the single coil. But man, I love this sound. <laughs> you know, there's a prize for everything. <laughs> but the strap player never looked for new guitar. He's got so much problem to control this guitar. <laughs> that no, 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 I'm not looking for anything. A humbucker player, he looks for everything. Because it's got less problem. It's got different sound. Then, scale. Like, a tuning a short scale is much easier than tuning a long scale. Like for our lower price guitar, we have a short scale. From this model up, it's long scale. You won't see with your eyes. It's just this different, but it makes day and night. This got more harmonics, more ring. But when you begin, when you start to play, you love bass. That's a, a beginner player. His preferred sound is bass. It takes with the year. Then you look for the ring. You look for the harmony. Before that, you don't hear it. Then, it's all these things, you know, <clears throat> that are important. Now, I'm going to show you then. It's okay for the acoustic? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. No question? Yeah, I have a question. <clears throat> Sorry? Question. Yeah? Uh, do you make, your company, do you make some guitars for someone, uh, like for one person, if someone wants some special guitar to order and they have some needs, do you do this? Do you make some guitars like... Custom guitars. Oh, yeah. no. no. I'll tell you why. We have a big range of guitars, many models. If you explain your need, yeah. I'm quite sure we have the guitar for you. But to go and say someone, I want more this, more that, Sometimes, just to test a model, it takes years. I can make anything. I can get you this guitar double bass. But maybe in six months, in one year, it's going to start to make a bump here. Because I lose the structure. See, Then we do structure tests. It has to last. It's an illusion. We can... If you come here to the store with your guitar, they can check your guitar, they can improve your guitar by adjusting perfectly. Just this, it's a big thing. But to make a guitar just for you, for a specific sound, do you play for a long time? I, I didn't ask for me, I just ah. was curious for some, I don't know, for some guitar player. Okay, okay. Yes, I don't know, something special, you know? Yeah. Well, it's dangerous, yeah. <laughs> I have to say. It's quite dangerous. Okay, you know, a lot of mistake of judgment. Thinking that all the guitar players will understand. Our clientele, it's more professional guitar player for the last 45 years. Now, the young wants to play Gauguin, but the young, they know a lot less than you. Then they're afraid they walk to a music store, they look. If they don't recognize the shape of the guitar, they're going to say, very nice, but they don't buy it. And this was my problem. And today, we made shape common, like this, I don't have to tell you, you know the brand. <laughs> but we changed the shape. We did here, uh, this cut here, we call the beer belly cut. <laughs> Your beer belly. Then we made it deeper, thinner, little detail, the weight of the guitar. The biggest problem is weight. And we work a lot on that. And we correct without compromising the shape and the look, we fix all the problem 
of the single coil guitar. And if you're interested, I'll tell you. Uh, then, wow. I'm just looking, this is the guitar from the wall. Then, check acoustically. You see, I unplug. We hear a sound. If the guitar is not correct, you hear nothing. It's tin tin. The best place to check a guitar without an amplifier is ear. And you just put your ear. If you hear the deep, mid, high, plug it. <laughs> but if you don't hear it acoustically, don't plug it. <clears throat> microphone pickups or microphone. Then the pickup take what the guitar offer. Then a lot of guys say, I'm going to buy a cheap guitar, I'm going to put three Seymour, it's going to sound incredible. No. <laughs> you know, it's me, I don't have a nice voice. If you give me a $2,000 microphone, it's going to be awful because my voice is mid, 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 and it, it's going to be worse. Because you're going to amplify something terrible. <laughs> if the voice is nice and you put a great mic, wow, now we're going to have something. Then here, the body vibrates here and the neck the same way. The neck goes like this, the body. Remember my acoustic, the angle? Mm -hmm. It's the same here. A lot of guys say, my friend bought a strap. My gosh, it sounds nothing compared to mine because the angle is wrong, they put a lot of pain. Here is wood to wood, but the guitar, look, again, lucky you. <laughs> <laughs> touch the body, touch the neck, you. See, and the neck. There it is. Next time, sit in the front. <laughs> <laughs> then, we take, this is all done with numeric machine, working this angle perfect, but acoustically, this guitar sounds. And it's sustained forever. Because everything is at the maximum. Tremolo. All the strap player. Where's your tram? Oh, maybe it's in my case. I never use it. Because it doesn't stay tuned. Hmm. You know? It's normal. Then you don't use it. This tram here look exactly like the strap one, but it stayed perfectly in tune. Took us years of fixing. But it's not me who fix it, it's the engineer, mechanical engineer. It's the material. But look, let's see. Okay, now I'm gonna do let's see. See? I'm gonna go and this is not a guitar I brought, this is the guitar of the store. From the you see. <laughs> no locking tuner, no locking nut. It worked. I can go backward. It's perfect. This I'm very proud <laughs> <laughs> because it's the nightmare. This one is so smooth. I can do like a Floyd Rose almost, just doing, you know, it works. Unplug, mm -hmm. <laughs> then plug, it works more. Okay, then just this. 
the, another big problem is with the single coil, the magnet, magnet in the check, how do you say? Magnet. 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 Same thing. Okay. <laughs> then, on the single coil, the magnet is right on the top here. Then the magnet pull. Mm -hmm. A humbucker, the magnet is under the pickup. <coughs> Doesn't have the same thing. Mm -hmm. Here, especially the neck pickup here, when I hit the string, the string turns. Every time the string passes in the front of